My name is Kaito. I'm a college student. I'm wrecked because one of the most shocking things in my life just happened. I can't believe she cheated on me. Until yesterday, I was dating a girl named Elisa. She was an energetic girl, and I loved how she laughed with a big smile on her face. I thought everything was going well, but I found out she was approaching other men while we were dating. We broke up yesterday. It was so sudden. Kaito, let's break up. I found someone I like more than you. What? What do you mean you found someone? Well, uh, we're already dating, so I don't need you anymore. What? You were cheating on me? My feelings for you have been drifting away for a while. You didn't notice? Oh, no. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something to make you hate me? Uh, you're a nice guy and everything. You were almost perfect. Honestly, I just wish you were more handsome. Your face just isn't my type. I like more western looking faces. You know what I mean? Something's missing when I'm up close and kissing you. My new boyfriend is so my type. <laughs> what the hell? I hate having to work on bad days like this, but I went to work anyway. Damn it! What's wrong with an Asian face? What's so great about Western looking faces anyway? Damn it! All those Western food dishes today! Grace won't come off it! Damn it! Yeah, it's so weird, right? How you have to wash them before you put them into the dishwasher? Oh! Sakura! Are you working in the kitchen today? Yeah, my shift is about to begin. This is Sakura. She works in the kitchen with me. She's a couple years older than me. Her looks are cute, but she's very reliable. Our restaurant is busy in the evenings, so we switch off washing dishes and making food. But you looked so angry when you were looking at those leftovers. That's unlike you, Kaito. Uh, uh. I wish I could disappear like these bubbles! Huh? What's wrong? Did you get in an argument with your girlfriend over western dishes or something? Come on, get a hold of yourself. I'll hear you out after work, okay? I know she didn't mean any harm, but her words were spot on. And that made me tear up. And after work, she really did make time to hear me out. Oh, I see. She must really prefer distinct facial features. What do women do if the guy that they're dating isn't their type? Wait, they wouldn't go out with that person in the first place, right? Hmm, it's hard to say. Some people would just exclude that person, but some people still go out, even if they aren't 100% satisfied with their partner. Is that so? <laughs> but people aren't made for other people. Do you know what I mean? We aren't made to order, you know? You can't be perfect in every way for another person. I don't think it's healthy to try to strive to be perfect in the first place. But I do think you're pretty perfect though, Kaito. Huh? What? <laughs> I know, it's kind of a cheap move to approach someone who's heartbroken. But that's the kind of person I am. You get a mix of the good and the bad, and one or the other wins. I think falling in love is something you just feel intuitively like that. Do you like me, Kaito? I actually like the way you think. I've always liked Sakura's outlook on life. I was just caught off guard. But she was right. You can't expect to find someone who perfectly fits your ideals. It's impossible. People aren't things. People aren't perfect. I just broke up. But my feelings are swaying towards you. Is that bad? There's no problem with being bad, if we can accept that part of each other, too. I was heartbroken until a few hours ago, and now I had a new girlfriend. Maybe my feelings for Elisa weren't that significant after all. A few days later, I was on a date with Sakura.
What do you want to do, Kaito? It's still too early to call it a day, right? Yeah. Hey, Kaito! Long time no see! Hey, is that your new girlfriend? I know you must have been lonely without me, but still, look how ugly she is. I bet she sucks in bed, too. Huh? Hey, let's get back together, Kaito! You remember how compatible our bodies were? I realized how important that is! Get off me! Physical compatibility, eh? So your western-looking boyfriend wasn't compatible enough for you. Exactly. You know how important that is too, right? Not at all. Our values must be fundamentally different. Stay away from me. My brain must not work like your monkey brain. Physical compatibility, you say? They have toys for that kind of stuff. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Let's get out of here. But it was that good, huh? Your bodies, I mean? Are you kidding me? Love is the biggest factor! <laughs> I agree. I'm just playing. I bet Elisa is going to try to find someone with a western face who's nice and convenient for her and has a good physical compatibility with her. It's a mystery if that person exists in the first place. And even if they did, there's no guarantee they'd like her back. She'll probably be alone until she realizes that. But that's none of my business anymore. As for me, a few years later... What did you guys think of today's story? I imagine Kaito was the one who asked the first girl out. I love the way the second girl, Sakura, thinks though. How you should accept all the good and bad of the other person and see which comes out on top? I think that's important. Falling in love is more of a feeling than a calculation. Please leave a comment below about what kind of romance you've experienced in your life. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.